It's been said that the body is the means through which an athlete can best reveal the dynamic potential of the human spirit. But what happens when the means to that expression is injured beyond repair? Meet Ed Hamner, a once prominent player in the big leagues, a man who's never resolved himself to his fate as a non-participant, but who will soon be forced to bat in the twilight zone. And the pitch. There's a drive to right center. It is in the gap. Man there you go. First. The That's it. Dig, dig, ball. dig. Man Take three. Second. Yeah. Away from the outfield. Man huh? in there with a hey, Paula, triple. come on in. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Carson working fast in the pitch. So routine bouncer to short. The throw to first, and that's the ball game. The Tigers slump um, continues. But they wish you were still hitting cleanup. Oh, I don't know. I had my share of big swings that came up empty. Hey, how was practice today? Pretty good. Brian Claiborne says he's going to teach me to throw a curveball. Yeah, I'm not going to. I remember what you said. You're too young to throw, throw a curve. You'll only hurt, hurt your arm. arm. Besides, that fastball of yours is enough to get anybody out. But you got to concentrate. Remember, if you ever feel like you're losing it, just step off the mound, take a deep breath, completely clear your mind. Confidence and concentration. It works every time. Oh, I almost forgot. Well, I hear 20 Ed Hamners will get me a Reggie Jackson. Oh, yeah, come on. <laughs> no. Good. But that's not even the real surprise. Take a look at this one. Lottie Hanks? Never heard of him. Well, not much of a career, two years. Good stats, though. Seven home runs a second year. That was a lot in those days before the babe. He looks kind of familiar. Kind of like the guy you see in the mirror, right? <laughs> The guy at the shop said he's been holding on to that card for years. Only one like it he's ever seen. It's an off-brand. It's not even listed in the catalog. Oh. Well, I gotta go, or Mom's gonna have kittens. See you at the game tomorrow. Of course, 3 o'clock. Okay. Oh, hey, what about your card? It's a present. I got it for you. Take care of old Monty. Cindy, take a look at this. Another baseball card. An old one. An old expensive one. I thought you were going to be revising your resume today, Ed. Your interview is tomorrow. You promised you'd try. Yeah, but... It's the weirdest coincidence I've ever seen. Paula gave it to me. This guy looks just like me. And what's more, in 1909, this Monty Hanks guy batted 322, had 87 ribbies, and stole 31 bases. Is that weird or what? Or what? No, but those are even the same stats I had my first year up in the majors. That's very interesting. <laughs> yeah, I thought I had a bad break. This guy really got shortchanged. His team was in the pennant race late September. He got hit in the face with a pitched ball never recovered consciousness. Look, will you pay attention? <laughs> Your interview is tomorrow, Ed. I think it's a lot more important than some, some baseball player that died before you were born. You know, Larry Dula is a big fan of yours, and you promised you'd try for me. I will. I'll be fine. That's at 2 o'clock, right? I'll turn on the old charm, get the job, and be home by 7 with a bottle of champagne to celebrate my gainful employment. How's that? Metricon Computer Division. Thank you. Uh, I had a two o'clock appointment. I'm sorry, Mr. Hamner. I realize you've been waiting a long time, but Mr. Dula is still on his conference call. Would you tell him I had another appointment? I couldn't wait. All right, come on. We know you can do it. You can strike him You can get him. Hey, let's see some smoke.
Well, look who's here. The rookie of the year. I know, I'm late, I'm sorry. Paula's team won the championship. The coach took the kids out for pizza. They wanted me to come along. I had an hour and a half easy. I, I don't know, somehow I just lost track of time. I remembered the champagne. I'm surprised you didn't pour it over Paula's head. Isn't that how it's done? What did you think we'd celebrate tonight, Ed? You could have had the Vetracomp job, but no, you just walked away from it. Maybe it's just as well. I mean, all I know about selling computers anyway. What about our future, Ed? It's been two years since your injury. Are you just going to sit around and feel sorry for yourself for the rest of your life? Do you ever think about me? Do you think I like paying all the bills while you sit around trading baseball cards? Monty, Monty boy, come on, are you all right? You yeah. must have one hard head, Monty. I thought that killed you. Yeah. <laughs> My leg. There's nothing wrong with my leg. Of course there's nothing wrong with your leg. It's your damned head that got hit. Maybe I should send Moran in to run for you. No, I'm fine. Well, come on, this ain't no fan dance. Let's play ball. Play ball! What happened to you? Something wonderful. A busted nose is wonderful. And that's not all. Oh! Look at this. Oh, gross. I did it yesterday. Well, 78 years ago, really, but it felt like yesterday. It's a beaut, isn't it? A real strawberry. I got it sliding into second. Into second what? Second base. Spikes high in a cloud of dust. I had two stolen bases and a three-run homer. But I didn't need this. It's that baseball card. Somehow, it took me back. And this guy, Body Hanks, I'm him. He's me. I know, I know. It's, it's hard for me to believe, too. Maybe you had some kind of a, a dream or something. I didn't do this in any dream. Look at the card. 
don't see anything. What? Check the stats. Whole broad, second year. Eight. Eight? Yesterday it was seven. I hit that. It was real. I was there. And I'm going back. Hey, kid. You want to see a baseball game? Yeah, sure, but... To take my hand. I don't know, Ed. This is a little weird. Hold on. behind the athletics. If we could sweep them, we take the pennant. And I'll be in the World Series. Oh, wow. <laughs> World Series? <laughs> Uh-oh. I was supposed to be home for dinner 20 minutes ago. But yeah, go on. Get out of here. We'll do it again tomorrow. I'll okay. see you. Take off. I don't think you're a little old to be playing with kids and sorting baseball cards. I guess I'm not exactly a prize husband. We were just kids when we got married, Cindy. You grew up. I guess I didn't. I still love baseball. I know it's just a kid's game, but I love it, Cindy. God, but I love it. More than me? No, not more than you. Can't I have both? I guess not. I talked to Larry Dula. There's a company banquet tomorrow. Their speaker had to cancel, and he asked if you'd fill in. You know, tell a few of your old tiger stories. I'm having your tux cleaned. You always look so sexy in a tux. I don't know, Sid. Come on, Ed. Once they get to know you, I'm sure they'll find some work for you. Oh, there you are. It's an early game today. I didn't want to leave without you. I can't go today. I've got an orthodontist appointment. But today's a big one. We beat the athletics today. We clinched first place. Yeah, I know. But my mom will never let me get out of it. Especially for something I can't even tell her about. I'll miss you. It won't be the same without you there rooting for me. Well... I'll still be rooting. I'll just be 78 years away. Big dinner party tonight. I'm meeting my future employers. You're gonna be a coach? Computer salesman. Aren't you happier playing ball? It's not that easy, Paula. Not when you're an adult. I have responsibilities. And I was thinking about 1910. It almost seems like you belong there. Great innings of goose eggs. I can't believe we're not hitting this guy. Sit down, Monty, you're driving me batty. You got a score sued. What time do you suppose it is? Later than you think if we don't beat these bums.
You never swing at pitches like that. Your last two at-bats make you look like you don't even want to be here. Swing it too hard, I guess. Yeah, well, now get out there and hold them. If they can do it to us, we can do it to them. Back, I got a problem. Oh, yeah, me too. If we don't win today, we don't get no pennant. Now, what's your problem? It's my wife. I promised her. Your wife? We're into extra innings. Back, you don't understand. If I stay here, I stand to lose everything I've got, including my wife. How about of extra innings at home? What about here? I'm talking about the World Series. Are you nuts or what? Walk out of here and you don't come back. I mean that. Not tomorrow, not ever. Moran, take third. Go. No. I'll finish the game. That's more like it. Now let's play ball. Where's Ed? Don't you knock? What are you doing to Ed's stuff? Repaying him. Each one of these cards is a day he wasted. Part of our lives he threw away. Look around you, Paula. I'm almost even. No. He'll be back. I know he will. Oh, yeah. Rookie of the Year always makes it home, doesn't he? What if there's no home when he gets there? Don't say that. He's a big man to you, isn't he? Big man. You know why he's so nice to you? Because you're a fan. Ed needs to hear him cheering, and you're the only fan he's got left. Ed just needs someone to care about him. It's all so simple when you're 12, isn't it? But eventually, you'll grow up, and you'll realize you can't play games for the rest of your life. You're wrong. Give it to me, please. Thought I didn't notice it. Ed's latest treasure? <laughs> Showed it to me the other day. Is it special to it? N no, it's my favorite. Ed doesn't even care about it. I like it because I, I told Ed it looks like him, but he doesn't think so. You're lying. I remember now the stats. <laughs> Same stats as the Rookie of the Year. No! I bought it for him. It costs so much, my mom will kill me. Please don't. Take it. Take it and get out. Oh, that's right. Cherish it. You're a girl, Polly. You're just a little girl. But you'll grow up, and when you do, Losers like Ed won't look so wonderful, I promise you that. He'll always look wonderful to me. Go on, go home. There's nothing you can do for him. Yeah. There is. Ed Hamner, Monty Hanks. To some, a mere face on a trading card. But to a special friend, he's an eternal boy of summer. An athlete who found himself drafted by a unique team in a league that plays its games in the Twilight Zone.